Hi and welcome to PeaceMeg TV. In today's video for Lightroom, we're going to be taking a look at how we can deal with noise. Now noise is something that when you're dealing with a higher ISO or you're shooting in low light environments can be quite problematic. And as we can see from the image on screen at the moment, you can see we've got quite a bit of noise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to combat that, but I'm also going to show you a little tip to retain some of the detail in certain key areas so it doesn't look overly soft and we lose that nice sharp effect to our image. So let's take a look at how we can do that with Lightroom right now. So Lightroom gives us a couple of different ways that we can deal with noise in our photographs. If we take a look at the detail panel, in the develop module you can see we've got the option to deal with noise reduction and we can deal with luminance noise reduction and we can deal with color noise reduction so once we identify the reduction we need to apply to our image we can apply that get a nice effect but the problem we get is that we start to lose definition in the more sm small details so for example if we look at the microphone and we look at the, the hair once we start to increase the noise reduction, we start to lose some of the detail in that. And the problem is, when you're dealing with images that have quite a lot of fine detail in them, once you start to lose that information, the overall image can just look a little bit soft and a little bit... It just it doesn't work so well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we can cope with that side of things. Now, Lightroom isn't necessarily the best program to deal with this side of things. Photoshop gives you more function, more control where you can deal with layers. But I'm going to show you a, co a cool tip that uses the adjustment brush and how we can use that to bring some of that detail back in. So let's focus to start off with, with dealing with the noise reduction. So if we look at the background, you can see we've got quite a bit of noise. It's not too bad, but we were shooting at quite a high ISO and we shoot it in the evening and we shoot in a, a live concert. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start dealing with the noise reduction. And for this example, we're going to start dealing with the luminance noise reduction. So as I move that over to the right, if you keep an eye on the background, you'll see the noise starts to get softer and we start to lose that harsh noise problem in the background. But we also start to lose the definition in the hair, the microphone, the hands, the nails. So we lose that. So we're finding a balancing act between dealing with the noise and retaining as much detail as possible. And we can combat some of this problem by using the detail slider. And if I hold the Alt key down on the keyboard, we'll switch it to black and white mode, which means that we don't have the color distracting us. We can just look at the noise and we can look at the detail that we're bringing back in or losing. So as I move that over to the right hand side, if you keep an eye on the hair, you'll see some of the detail starts to come back in. But we also introduce some of the original noise back in there. So we're looking to try and find a happy medium. And around about there looks pretty good. So we'll just let go of the alt key and let go of the slider. And that brings the color back in. So we've still retained some of the detail and dealt with some of the noise in the background. So that's the first part of this. So we'll say we're quite happy with that. I'm sure I would go back in and tweak and adjust this somewhat more with the, with the image itself. But it's a good starting point. So we've dealt with that. So now how do we bring back some more of that detail that we're starting to lose in the hair? So now all we're going to do is choose the adjustment brush by pressing either K on the keyboard or selecting it from the tools on the right hand side. I need to make sure first of all that none of these settings are set to anything other than zero except for noise which we're going to set to minus 100. So that's going to take any noise reduction off anything we paint over. So if I press O on the keyboard, I can see exactly where I'm painting. So you can see we've got the red overlay mask. So as I paint, and what I can do now is I can start drawing or painting back in the details. So I'm going to start off not worrying too much about exactly what I'm going to be painting. I'm just roughly going over the hair. Try and cover as much of that as possible, the main areas. Use the scroll wheel to increase or decrease the size of my brush. So I'm going to get as much of this as I can in as possible. Once I got the basics of that in, I'll switch to auto mask and we'll then use that to try to get as much of the hair as possible. I don't have to be crazy perfect with this, but obviously I want to try my best to retain just the detail in the hair. 
And that's something that's going to be quite noticeable. And any other areas you think, well, actually, I need to keep the detail in that because without that, the image is going to look a little bit off. So I'll take a little bit of time to do that. Like, obviously, I'd take a lot more time to do this if I was going to be doing it for real. But that gives you a kind of good idea. So we now have the noise reduction on this. So if I press O to hide that, we've now brought the detail back into the hay. So we've now taken any of the the noise reduction off. So I can now use a combination of adjusting the noise to get a little bit of the reduction in there, but retain the detail as much as possible. So those things that really draw your attention, if you start to lose the detail, things like around the eyes, teeth, you know, things like tattoos and hair, where there's a lot of fine detail, if you lose that, the overall image just loses definition, which is a, a bit of a negative thing. So by using this method of combining noise reduction on, on the overall image and then going in and selectively reducing that noise reduction to bring back some of that detail. And the, the good thing with this is because the hair has so much detail in it, we don't see so much noise in there. So by bringing some of that noise reduction out of the picture in that particular area, we don't really see any degradation. We're just seeing some detail come back into it. So if I was working on this image, I would take a lot more time to go over and find where there's fine detail that really needs to be brought back into the picture. I go over the process in the same way that I've just shown you how to do it. I pick out the detail to make sure that we've got an end result that shows detail where it needs to be and the noise is reduced to an acceptable level in areas where we've got solid colors and backgrounds and things where we don't want to see a lot of noise. Well, I hope you found this technique useful. I hope it's something you can employ in your own noise reduction techniques. If you did find it useful, please give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Please subscribe to the channel to be kept up to date with all of the weekly content we add. And if you've got any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else we covered on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. If you do enjoy the tutorials we put out on this channel, please consider popping over to Amazon where you can purchase the new ebook we released on the Kindle store. Eight essential Adobe Lightroom techniques where we go into detail about different techniques that every Adobe Lightroom user should really have in their arsenal. The link is in the description below and your support is much appreciated. Well, until next time, take care.